guys, so I started working on this the other day. Started digging the sod up for the garden. So it isn't too thick here, probably about two to three inches or so. Depending on the area, you can kind of see the patch there where I've been working on it. I have a lot to go, but I started also, after I did this patch, I started digging all the rocks out of it. Which that's not all of them, but a decent amount of them. This land is really rocky, actually more rocky than when we, where we were before. We were lucky enough, we got our hands on the tractor, the boat over there, so we're going to see what we can do with that. Hopefully it'll help quite a bit. Saves me a little bit of labor. And we can get some stuff in the ground. You can see over at the debris pile that I've started, so it looks like when it comes up. I just used the square shovel for this. You can see how it just comes up in big bricks of it. Still stick together. I just threw that on the rest of the debris to help it compost down. I just use the square shovel for that, and then use the spade shovel for getting the rocks out. See what we're doing here? I've been taking turns, each taking a pass. You usually have to go over a spot one, two times, depending on the spot. We've only done a little so far. Just pushing what we can of the sod up. And then we're going to have to go back and dig up the hoe end. And then go through by hand and pull out whatever we can for roots and rocks and all that good stuff. That way it'll be nice and tilled up. And then I'll probably be adding some topsoil. Working these in the spot in there. See what we're getting up. And then I'll load that in the bucket and bring it over to the debris pile over there. It's doing pretty good. I'm a little worried that, I mean, it's wet because it snowed and then it poured lost everything, but there's really, it looks like it's a lot of dirt because of how wet and muddy it is, but that is pretty much just like the sod is, and it's all root. It's not really any free dirt there. I'd probably shake it out, but, you know, see what happens. Now we finish scraping. He's pulling up the rest of the sod that he can, and then we're just going to plow it out of the way and then go on to the next step. So yesterday after work we finished scraping all the sod up and what we've been doing now is using the claw to constantly turn it over, rip out any rocks or leftover sod or big roots that we didn't get, turn it over again, do the same thing, push it back into its holes and then move on to the next spot. Seems to be working really well. The soil that we have here is still damp. We had snow and then it poured. I'm not sure if I said that earlier so it's still pretty damp but it is a, uh, that wasn't a good spot to show you. It is a very clay-like soil, so it's sticking together into really hard balls. It doesn't want to come apart in most veggies and whatnot. We're going to want more of a loamy to sandy soil, depending on the, um, what you call it, type of vegetable. So I was planning on filling this in with topsoil anyway from the amount of dirt that we're losing from the sod. But I am going to, I think, add sand, at least to parts of the garden. Try to break it up a little bit, make it more loamy. Uh, it's very rocky land. You can see the piles we've got all over the place of rock and I'm probably going to end up bordering this in with a small rock wall before I put my fencing up. Mine as well. We have so much rock and uh, then we've been pulling all the sod out. A couple piles of sod that need to be pushed out of the way. Got one over there that we did already push out of the way. So it's a lot of work but it's getting somewhere. So that's all that matters. how much the rock piles have grown. Got a ton done. Got one more spot over there that is dug up. I just need to finish moving the rocks out. I got one spot next to it to do after that. Otherwise we got really far today. A lot more than what was done on Friday. So that's good. Everything else is pretty much tilled up. So then I'm going to come down with a rake 
once I'm done moving that stuff, I'm going to level it out a bit, and then I'll add my topsoil and my sand. It's supposed to rain this week. I'm hoping it'll hold off, or maybe I can get down here and get those rocks out before it does, because it'll be a lot easier to do before it rains and recompacts itself. And so as always, I'll show you guys as it goes. we got a little bit of daylight left here, so I'll keep on working for a few. So see that the chicks are growing extremely fast. They're starting to develop feathers. They're also starting to trust me a little bit more. I did have them eating some treats out of my hand to give them some foraging treats. You can see they'll turn sideways how their feathers are starting to develop. This one's actually trying to dust bathe at the moment, but I'm disturbing them. And how some of them are also starting to develop the tail feathers. They've definitely started working on their pecking order. They've been actually standing up and flapping their wings at each other and pecking a bit and that kind of thing. Nothing too serious, but just developing their order. And they've started roosting like crazy. They actually started getting on top of their water bucket and stuff. So I have been uh, put a roof on the cage. Just a mesh grate so that they can't fly out or anything since they're starting to get big and they're starting to fly back and forth across the cage and hop on each other. But they're doing really well. I've had absolutely no problems with the pasty butt since I started. And so I'll, as always, I'll keep you guys updated on them as they grow.